Check out time, officer. Oh, who's picking you up? Cab. Is that all we are to you? Hey. You know, it's funny, he didn't tell us he was getting out. He's a tough guy who doesn't need anybody's help. Are you two finished? Nope. Smile. God. Nolan, I'm sorry. Save your concern, Officer Chen. Officer Nolan got the highest score, not the lowest. That honor goes to Officer West. That's not possible. I've seen a lot of strange things in my 20 years, but never would I have imagined that the golden boy would tank his test. Hey, but there's, um, like, I, I, uh -oh. I, looks like Gray broke your rookie. <laughs> Shut up. Plate on Caleb's car was reported stolen earlier that day. Officer Chen's car was found in the alley where she left it last night, which means we believe Caleb is Rosalind's protege, and he took Officer Chen. What's up? Hey, Lucy's been taken. I need you. On my way. Get dressed. You're coming to the station with me. I can stay here. No, Lucy's in trouble, and I want you with me so I don't have to worry. Hey, give me one minute. Hey, thanks for coming in. Of course. Grace got you on tip lines? <sighs> Nothing says we got squat like listening to the public. This is useless. We should be out on the streets kicking down doors. Whose doors? I don't know, but I, I can't just sit here. Wait up. I'm fine. I'm just blowing off steam. I get it, but you got to get your head in the game. I don't need a pep talk. Then why'd you call me? Clearly, you need to get something off your chest. Look, she, she wanted to go home, OK? Go to bed. I told her that she should focus on something else. She went out with Caleb because I told her to. You couldn't have known. I want to hire a sister like her. I was standing this close to the guy, right across from him, and I never saw him coming. But she did, though. She, some part of her didn't feel right about this whole thing. She hesitated. And I, I pushed her right at him. You okay? What happened? This. You're going into labor. No, the baby's fine. I just, oh, I never imagined I have to pick a wedding dress based on its ability to hide my belly. Who said you have to hide your belly? Bridesmaids. They said this is the one that camouflages it best. So I kicked them all out and texted you. You text me 911 on my day off to ask me if a dress makes you look fat? Does it? Yes. Because you're pregnant. Are you ashamed of your baby? Of course not. OK, then who cares what your stupid friends think? Show off that baby belly. Wear what you feel confident in. <laughs> Hell, wear a white half tee and let your gut hang out like my Uncle Elliot at my niece's christening. <laughs> he didn't. Oh, yeah. He even managed to get his gut in the holy water somehow. Anyway, what did your dream wedding dress look like? A V-neck dress with bell sleeves. OK, so we'll start there. I'll go talk to the lady and have her pull a few choices. You doing OK in there? You ever tried zipping up a dress with a bowling ball on your belly? It takes time, so quit rushing me. I am not rushing you. Whoa. Really? Oh, yeah. I know, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this with me. Of course. This is stupid. No matter what I pick, Patrice will overrule me. So don't let her. My dad got drunk at my wedding and made Isabel cry. And then my uncle lost his dentures in the chocolate fountain. Same uncle as the baby tea? Yeah, although he wore a purple suit to the wedding. Look, my point is, there are a million things you can't control, so pick what you want. I want thrust leches, but Patrice will blow a gasket if I pick an ethnic cake. You know what? Screw Patrice. Right, she's got a problem with tres leches or anything else for that matter. She can answer to me. Really? Hell yeah. Tim Bradford. What are you doing? Sit back down. Will you be my man of honor? You're what? That's not a thing. Yes, it is. You're the only person who's made me feel like I can get through this wedding without losing my mind. Please, I need you. Fine. 
I will be your man of honor. Thank God. Your first official duty is to fire my old maid of honor, Gretchen. What? Hey, I've been looking for you. So listen, about last night. Don't you dare back out on me. Relax. I never go back on my word. Good, because Gretchen will be here any second. And you don't think you should be the one to fire her? I would, but I'm working a case and I gotta get some more. I'm here to see Angela Lopez. Coward. What are you doing? Being your man of honor? Are those... The Patrice files? Yep. I've got one job. Give you the wedding you want. No more interlopers, no more drama. No more files and lists. Care to do the honors? Anyone tell you you're kind of amazing? All the time. This. You know the lithium battery in that thing is gonna explode, right? Aren't grieving faces. Those are guys terrified of getting caught. Great. Where's my burrito? Sorry, I got distracted trying to gaslight crooked cops. Nolan, call Harper. She likes you best. Really? That was a dirty lie. Today is her due date. Do you want to be the one calling her about work? You're an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. Damn straight. Now give me half that burrito before I turn my evil against you. So, how's Lucy? Uh, you know, she's still a little shaken. Taking some time to get Chris settled. Remind me what you were doing at her apartment when you found Chris bleeding out? Just dropping her off after we got back from Vegas. Mm-hmm. What are you implying? What do you think? I was just dropping her off. 